Hey guys, today I'm coming at you with a quite a large grocery haul, I think. Um, I went to Sam's Club, Walmart, Meyer, and Dollar Tree. Where else did I go? Um, Martin's, which is a grocery store down here. Um, and I got quite a few things. This is just the grocery stuff. And then I've got all of my non-grocery stuff over here, which we'll do next. So let's just go ahead and jump in. I'll start back here. Um, I picked up some of these Quaker Pops. They're the chocolate flavored ones. Um, I make my husband a uh, pudding Cool Whip frosting stuff and he likes to dip these in it. Um, I picked up a bag of cheddar and sour cream baked ruffles. Um, a thing of oven baked Tostito scoops. Um, I got our normal bread, which is the 35 calorie whole grain bread from Aunt Millie's. It's really good. Um, but as you guys, I'm sure know, I'm really trying to get us towards organic. But organic bread is a lot higher in calories. This is 35 calories a slice. This is 80 calories a slice. So, but I picked up some of this. It'd be good to have for breakfast for toast. Um, I picked up some Chicago style, Chicago style buns. Um, to have some hot dogs with this weekend. Um, picked up some hamburger buns because I have some spicy chicken patties in the freezer that I want to eat up. And then for freezer stuff, I picked up a bag of the Alexia Organic Yukon Select Fries. These are really good. And then I picked up some Arctic Zero. I got cookie dough chip for my husband, and then I got myself the brownie blast to try. Um, last time I went, I got snickerdoodle dandy. Didn't love it. The cookie dough is really creamy. The snickerdoodle dandy was kind of icy. It didn't like have that creamy texture that I was looking for, so I got this one to try this time. Sorry I haven't shown you guys a grocery haul in a while from, you know... I get it all set up and then my husband gets home and I don't have time to film it so but let's go on I got for fruit I got some bananas then I got some organic grapes red seedless grapes um, I got some of the French beans from Sam's Club that I always get I got two ears of corn and some cucumbers these are English cucumbers my husband loves those in his lunch um, I picked up some yellow onions, some Vidalia onions, um, a container of mushrooms, sliced mushrooms. If you have a Sam's Club membership, totally get your mushrooms there. I've said this before, it's a 16 ounce container and it's less than $3, I'm pretty sure. Um, I picked up a head of lettuce. I picked up two containers or two packages of green onions or scallions, whatever you call them. Um, my husband likes these for a snack with um, cream cheese and either ham or turkey slices. He prefers ham, but I have turkey, so he's gonna deal. Um, this is a little random section. I picked up some sprinkles. I picked up some chili powder because we were all out of that. I've never tried this brand. It's the Great Value brand. It's their organic line. Um, some garlic herb and wine marinade. We're gonna do pork chops on the grill. Um, I picked up a Reese's for my husband. He wants to mix that with his um, Arctic Zero and make like a blizzard. Then I picked up some strawberries. Everybody who I watch online always gets Driscoll's, so it must just be like a great brand of strawberries. I bought some at Sam's Club not that long ago, and they were quite sour. They were not ripe yet. Um, I picked up one red onion because I'm going to make um, Fiesta or... It's like a fiesta corn sort of thing. I can't remember what it's called right now. 
Um, I picked up a tomato. I picked up some jalapenos. Um, I need one of these for the corn dish, and then my husband just likes jalapenos on everything, so I'll probably run all these through the food processor, and, or just chop them up and he can have those. I got one red bell pepper also for the corn dish. Um, I picked up some pineapple tidbits for my husband to take in his lunches. He's really wanting, um, he's leaning more towards fruit and veggies in his lunch instead of a sandwich. He's really been enjoying that. Um, and then I got some PB2. If you've ever wondered about this stuff, it you mix it with water and it does kind of become the consistency of peanut butter. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. Come on, stop focusing on the, everything in the background. Come on. All right, it's not gonna focus apparently. Um, but the calories in this are 45 calories for two tablespoons or 12 grams, one and a half grams of fat, five grams of carbs, and five grams of protein. So if you're looking for a lower calorie option for your peanut butter, this is a great choice. It is a little pricey. It's like almost $5 and you can pick it up at Walmart. And then I got some reduced sugar smucker strawberry jelly or jam or whatever it is um, for my husband. He really likes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, so I thought that would be a nice little treat for him. Um, let me move this stuff out of the way. Um, I picked up some chocolate chips and a container of Oreos. I'm going to make some Oreo balls to send with my husband for work and He's been really craving them, and then one of the guys he works with came over for dinner the other night, and he wanted them too, <laughs> so I said I would make them for him, and they can have them next week. So, I got that. Um, I picked up some Light Ranch, because we're almost out. Um, I picked up two of the Progresso Light, um, yeah, I can't think, soup. Um, chicken noodle and savory beef, barley, and vegetable for my husband. I don't like either one of those. I uh, picked up some more coffee because we're almost out of that. Um, picked up a box of Raisin Bran Crunch. I got four of the Strawberry um, Powerade Zeros because I really like those and they were on sale. Um, picked up two Crystal Lights Fruit Punch because my husband's been going through those like crazy which is good because it's way cheaper than um, him drinking pop all the time. Um, I picked up some sport peppers for our Chicago dogs. I picked up some Meyer kosher dill refrigerated sandwich slices for a kosher, or er, yeah, for a kosher dogs. For our Chicago dogs also, you're supposed to use wedges, but we really liked these when we got them for a cookout we had the other day, so I picked up another one. And then I picked up a can of Hot Rotel to go. I'm going to make um, my King Ranch Bubble Up. And I made it last time with just the normal Rotel. Didn't, I didn't love it as much. I really enjoy the spiciness of it. And I figured out why it's so spicy. Because instead of the little green peppers, it's got habaneros in it. So it is quite spicy. Um, let's move on to this little section. I picked up a container of sour cream picked up a container of cottage cheese. Um, I tried both from Trader Joe's the other day and I didn't like the ingredients list on them. I really love the Daisy brand. If you're really trying to, you know, go a little bit cleaner on your food list, why won't you focus on anything? It's driving me nuts. There we go. Cultured cream, skim milk, and vitamin A palmitate. Or, yeah, palm, palmitate? I don't know. But there's that's the kind of ingredient list I like. And the cottage cheese is the same exact way. You can see it is a tiny little list, which is the way I like it. Um, I picked up some 2% mozzarella cheese. We're going to do um, my husband's cheese sticks for dinner one night. I picked up just four slices of bacon for my corn dish. I picked up two things of cream cheese, one for... Um, my husband to use for the um, green onions and then one I picked up because I need that for my Oreo balls that I'm going to make. Um, I picked up some of the Grand's Flaky Biscuits for um, my King Ranch Bubble Up 
And then for our Chicago dogs, I'm not doing the traditional beef hot dogs. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of, we wanted something different. My husband really likes these turkey sausages from Johnsonville with cheddar cheese. He really likes those. And these are really good in calories. They're 120 calories a link, which is not bad. And then I wanted some chili cheese dog ones. These are so good. Um, 110 calories a piece on these. So that is it for my groceries. Once I got it out, it really didn't look like a ton. And you'll notice that like this is all I have for meat because I, um, yeah, what am I trying to say here? I went through and I made a list of everything that I had in my freezer. And so we're eating out of our freezer this week and cleaning things out. Um, I'm going to do a post on that on how you can um, look at what you have and make your um, list of foods that you want to eat from that. So this is it for the food side. It is still quite a bit, you know. And then let's swing around to the non-food side. Alright guys, this is the um, non-food side of things. I picked up a container of toilet paper because we were run, run out, but we're running low. Um, I picked up some Bounty Basic Select the Size. Um, I thought those ones were cute. They had Dory on them, and it was no more expensive. Um, they were really cute. Um, I also picked up some cake pans because, as you, I'm sure you all know, I hate doing dishes. Um, and these were a two-pack for 88 cents at Walmart, which, to me, I know you're throwing money away, but it's worth it to not have to do the dishes, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, I picked up a little six-pack, or not six-pack, um, a muffin pan holder that holds six. That was only 88 cents, so I just picked one of those up. I was going to get the disposable kind, but they didn't have any. Um, and then I got uh, these just muffin wrappers. I thought they were kind of cute and a little different. They're almost like... Uh, what am I trying to say? Like paper bag material is what it kind of looks like. Um, then at Dollar Tree, I picked up a couple of little containers. These ones I thought were neat. They have dry erase on the front. I'm going to try and use them to put my um, Rubbermaid containers in up in my cupboard, but we'll see if it fits. I'll let you guys know. Um, I picked up another one of these little veggie storage containers. And I picked up a um, just a bottle washer to wash this old bottle my husband found and so I just picked this up for my husband because he's been wanting one it's the veggetti and you can use it to make um, spaghetti like noodles from like zucchini so he'll be really excited about that just something little you know um, it was just an excuse to buy it really um, I picked up a container of Loratadine. It's got 400 tablets. Um, this is basically the... It's Claritin. Um, if you get a prescription for Claritin, it's called Loratadine. So, I just picked this up. It was really cheap. I think it was only like 7 or $8. I don't remember for sure, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, and then I picked up some... Motrin. Um, again, I think this was maybe $13. I don't remember for sure. Um, but I picked this up at Sam's Club because we needed some more. I picked up a new razor. This is the Venus Swirl one. Um, I hate to spend the money on one of those packs of like six or eight. And they are really nice because they last a long time. But it's so much money to invest at one time. I just, I know you're wasting more this way, but whatever. This was like $12. It came with two heads and one of the shape sticks. So I picked that up. And then I picked up um, three more dividers to go into our recipe book and another pack of 20 sheet protectors to go in that too. Um, I picked up some Dawn because we needed some more. Yeah, you can see everybody fighting and playing. Um, but I picked this up. I'm just going to refill my little container and keep this one under the sink. And then I picked up some Raid fly ribbons because there are a few flies in here. Well, I don't see any today, but there have been. And they drive me insane. And I will kill them. I will kill them all. 
All right, guys. That was it for my grocery haul. This is what's all of my um, non-food items. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I will try and get another one, at, um, another grocery haul at you as soon as possible. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe and like this video. All right, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.